So this is the first real project I did. And and that's the sound of some geese in the background. So I had a cast iron window frame to weld up. Uh, now, again, I'm not going to be teaching you how to weld because um, I'm learning myself and making plenty of mistakes. Uh, this particular part, as you can see, is um, cast iron and there's a few bits missing. So I milled up some steel rod so this particular shot is uh, steel to cast iron and it welded up really well, I'm surprised but um, I did make some mistakes uh, first one is not getting the, um, the frame sound blasted because it would have helped tremendously um, and you see me through the video keep flicking the torch on and off got no idea whether that's necessary or not but in my mind it was just to slow down the cooling process a little bit uh, I didn't have any fractures or welds or welded together really well I uh, made a few mistakes along the way a lot of these turned out to be my foot pedal controller um, I've got a video or I will be doing a video on repairing that unbeknown to me <laughs> there you go usual trick touch the tip um, the pedal was sometimes not returning properly or not um, increasing properly so sometimes I was asking for amps and not getting it and sometimes I was getting amps when I didn't want it most useful Anyway, a bit of a um, focus issue there. And there I am again, just... I don't know why I was doing that, for some reason or I just thought it would help. Um, but you can see the tip is just a bit too far out. And one thing I have learnt since doing that is I've pushed my tip into the shroud a bit more. Again, this is a, as you can see, cast iron and steel. I think when it sparks and spits about, I think that is just rust and crap coming off the cast iron. So I wish I'd um, gotten it sound blasted and gone to the extra effort of having that done. Um, this wasn't actually for me, this was a, a job, but uh, it welded up okay. It's only for a garden um, feature. There's two of them, but the other one was in, in. Well, it had one crack in it, which I just said there was just no point in welding that up. It was solid enough. But this one was just smashed to blivering. Um, half of it was broken up in just a little chunks and say there's about three or four bits missing. But you can see that's welded, welded together quite nicely. I don't know what, um, if this was exhaust manifold, how well that would react to getting hot and cold, hot and cold, but... I don't think it's worth risking any more with them welds. Uh, no, that looks pretty good, leave it alone. You can see, I've shown this before. Yeah. Oh, that'd be with my dad in the background. At uh, what clock? As you can see, just to, to the left of my torch there, uh, you can see a bit of welding wire. And um, that was just to give a earth contact. Again, if I don't sound blasted, I'd have had loads of opportunities to put an earth clamp on, but I hadn't stupidly done that. For 
for some reason or other, I also thought that having a uh, that needed a um, grind on the tip it really wasn't good so away I go come back ground tip and you can see the difference in arc I'd probably touched it somewhere I expect probably just touched it again I expect I feel when looking at it back that um, I'm probably holding the torque just a little bit too upright. He says now holds it quite a good angle. Oh, I think this was an epic fail. I had to take an angle grinder to this afterwards, I believe, if this is the bit I'm thinking of. I must have caught it or touched it or something or other. Yeah, here we go, I think. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I think I had it. I thought the idea I might just melt it back off again, but it didn't work. So in the end, I just snipped it around the grind and redid it. It will be good and proper, mind. see some of the parts just didn't quite line up and rather than stress the um, cast iron I elected just to leave them um, all the bits of glass and mirror that were going to be put into this were all going to be bespoke cut anyway so it didn't really matter um, they also said they could nibble round any welds if I uh, couldn't cut them back again um, the frame itself is I think Victorian. Um, it was quite an odd frame. Uh, center, center pivot originally, latch on one side, so the window didn't actually open out. It pivoted around its center. But clearly, I have no idea where these came from. Um, that weld actually failed. I think I'll you see me welding that again later on. I think this was about three little bits, so I had to put a welding clamp on it and try and hold them all together because they were just such small bits. All of them were about three inches long, I can remember. Uh, it looks like the way our torch is um, spraying everywhere, I probably need to touch it up again. I'm getting better, I promise. This actually was filmed the same day that the first one, but my first video was filmed, so the learning process was a little bit slow. Ah, there we are, there's that one that failed. I think I only tacked it on there and then knocked it and off it came flying. I was quite surprised that little tack worked actually. But it seemed to hold up. This was the other end of that tack you just saw. Again, I was just doing the same thing again, just giving it a tack right along the top bar. This is in fact the back, the majority of the welding idea was at the back. Um, it's amazing how little actually held the glasses 
the glass, the glasses, the glass into these frames. The lip, the glass setting is very small when you consider it was held in the putty as well. Uh, I think it was literally about 5mm deep if that. And bear in mind you've got a piece of glass in there and putty holding it in as well. There's not a lot there. This large round part at the bottom of the screen there, that's where the original catch was. It was just a lever mechanism, not too dissimilar from modern ones, but that's where it was originally. The handle was all broken, there was only a little bit of it left, so it was cut off. Underneath the rust, the metal was actually amazingly good. And there I go again. That was a good one, that one. So I've, I've moved the tip, made the ch tip shorter th um, in the, well, soon to be video. Um, I just couldn't seem to stop touching the bloody tip. I don't know why. Again, I'm using a nickel rod. Um, it seemed to work as it should really. I mean, it's, it was designed for, for cast iron and the like. And it appeared to show very slight, little signs of shrinkage when it cooled, which is probably the main thing about it. This wasn't a very good weld, I was welding too far away from... You can see how much the rod is wobbling around. I'm sure I must have touched the tip several times there. So if you take anything away from this video, is Try and keep your tip as short as you can possibly be and uh, clean it up properly. If you're doing something like this, it's just worth running a sandblaster over it. So, at the end of the video here, I've got some photographs as usual. Uh, the first one is the two window frames in front of one another, so I don't think you're seeing double vision. but they're painted up and glazed and ready to be done with whatever he's going to do with them. But uh, the photo's not very good, but you can see the idea of what they are. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you again soon. And one last thing. You might just want to join me on Facebook if you're on there. Uh, Facebook forward slash wargrade. Ta-da.